round 10 of the 250 Championship came here to Kester in Belgium and Stefan Everts' home Grand Prix here with his teammate Talon Volen. For more discussing the track and the start, and there you are normally the activities of the riders before the start of race one, making alterations to their starting blocks. Monique Bevort's here. He was taken to hospital at the Irish Grand Prix afterwards to have his eyes popped out to have all the dust and dirt removed from behind them. So he's, they've got his eyes back in again, thank God. And no doubt he'll uh, make sure that he keeps his goggles on here at the Belgium Grand Prix. Bob Moore, that's uh, Eastwood, number 23, the British rider beside him. As they line up for the first leg then here of this Belgium 250 motocross Grand Prix, they're creeping a little, the gate drops, here they go. Into that first corner, it's one of the Piffy Johnson Suzuki that has got the whole shot and it's probably DeWitt, it is. Werner DeWitt from Everts, from Nickel, from Bevorts, Voland. And 90, that's Byra. Change of numbers for Pitt Byra on this one. So Cal Honderman, they're going through. Paul Cooper, 17. They are neck and neck down this hill. There's Bollet, number nine. Frederick Bollet, the young French star. But it's DeWitt from Stefan Everts at the moment. The two Belgians from Nicole the Brit in third. Then Voland, then Bevorts. Top four. Then Byra. Now, we've seen Byra charge through before and win races. Can he do it here in Belgium? Look at this. DeWitt under pressure from Everts. Everts would dearly love to win here. Nickel rejuvenated from his overall win at the Irish Grand Prix previously. But it's Everts then that has found a way past. And Nickel going for the inside of DeWitt. Nickel goes to second. There's Bavortz behind Voland. Byra still there behind that group in fifth. But Stefan Everts already out in the lead and beginning to pull a slight gap. But Nickel, the Brit on the HRC Honda, is shadowing. Can Nickel come back at the Belgium? Then it's DeWitt. Then Bavortz, the two Johnson Suzuki men together. There's the Chesterfield Suzuki, number 71, Pedro Tractor. Yoki Carlson, 13, just gone through. There is Voland, and Voland's been off the bike. You can see the handlebars a little bit out of shape, so Voland dropped it somewhere. There's Paul Cooper, 17, but into the trees, to the delight of his adoring fans, Stefan Evans. Nickel, still second, hanging on to that position. And the two Johnson BFE boys neck and neck, and Byra is there behind them. The German on the Honda wants those positions. Carlson just gone through 13. Volan now under pressure from Paul Cooper, the South African. It's not all over to the checkered flag drops, as they say, but here comes the race leader, number two, Stefan Everts, and we seem to have dropped off Kurt Nickel, who was in second and still is number five. Well, Nickel won't be too unhappy with second place. There's Marnik Bevort, he's got past his teammate DeWitt. Hard track here. Then it's Pedro Tractor. Then Pip Vera, number 90. Then Carlson, 13. Then it's number 35. That's Jesper Jorgensen. Paul Cooper, 17. Behind Cooper, they come through. Scrapping for those remaining point scoring positions. But we're back at the front with the leader, Stefan Everts. Then it's Nickel behind. Then behind Nickel, it's still Bevorts and DeWitt. Those make up the top four at the moment. Well, that's DeWitt. He's twisted his knee or his ankle or something in a rut, and he won't be racing anymore today, I feel. But Stefan Everts leads at the moment on course for 20 points. Kurt Nickel, second, possibly 17 if things all go right for him. Everts it is in front of his adoring fans here in Belgium. Bevort chasing second now, trying to deny Nicolo's points. 
Here goes Stefan. And it is Bavortz then that has gone to second. Where's Nickel? And the answer is now third. Fourth then for Pedro Tractor. Then it's Pip Beer of fifth. Here comes Everts then, wins Moto One at this Belgium Grand Prix. And he won't be too unhappy with that. Bevorts finishes second. Nickel then comes home in third place. Something wrong with the bike, maybe. Nickel has moose tyres on that machine. And when they get hot, they go very soft and wobbly, as if you've got a puncher. That may well have been the problem. Talon Volan here, not happy with the result. I think about to mow down a few spectators. Oh, well, he's decided to slow up. So Volan goes back to the paddock and gets himself ready for heat two. Win then for Stefan Everts. They're loving it here in Belgium. Well, a little bit of work and maintenance on the track during the interval to get things nicely smoothed out. That's number nine, that's Chesterfield's Frederick Bollet surveying the start. Everts, can he make this another back-to-back -back win? He did it in Great Britain. Two wins in a row. Can he come here to Belgium in his home Grand Prix? And they really want to see their hero. Talon Volan settles himself down on the line, hoping for a better result in the second heat. Bavortz next to Everts. There's Voland. Tractor beside him. Then Gisbers number 70. Green flags up. Far more after a fall in race one. No longer competing in this Grand Prix. So that's two of the Chesterfield boys out. Bartolini and Moore as they get underway for heat two. Well, that's, yes, thumbs up. That must mean Stefan Everts leads. Well, there indeed he does. Everts it is from Bevortz, from Voland. Then Jorgensen and Nickel. There's Bolle just going through. Carlson amongst that group with Robbie Herring, number 12. But it is to the delight of the Belgian fans. Their home hero, Stefan Everts, that leads Bevortz, his teammate, that's Stefan's teammate, Volan in third. And they're already beginning to pull away. Jorgensen with Nickel. This is a good ride from Jorgensen. Nickel having a job to get past him. There's Bolle, nine. Down the hill once again comes the Belgium star. Stefan Everts it is on the JHK Silkeling Kawasaki leading from the Johnson's BFE Suzuki of Bevortz. Then it's Pedro Tractor number 71 on the Chesterfield Suzuki. And look at Volan, looking a bit twisted. Volan dropping out of third. He's been off again. There's Nickel, number five. Well, they're dropping like flies at the moment here. We've already lost Bob Moore in the first race. There's Robbie Herring. And they're anxiously waiting to see who comes through. It's definitely Everts. You can tell by that distinctive blue top on. He leads. It's still there, number four, Monique Bevortz in second spot. Then it's Pedro Tractor. Number 71, now third. So a good ride from Tractor. Then it's Nickel back in fourth. Back behind Nickel, and it looks like Jorgensen, number 35. Indeed it is Jorgensen. Then Danny Famous, number 72. Then Robbie Herring. Then 59, that's Bader Monet. Then 13, that's Jockey Carlson. 43 just going through. There's 33, Minsky Altonen. And they're all going after these remaining places and these few points. Oh, look at this. Pit Beer, number 90, way down the field at the moment. Not where we usually see him. He's normally up the front battling. Stefan Everts it is then that leads. The Belgium, look at Bavortz. He's beginning to close on him. We could see a scrap to the line between those two. Pedro Tractor back there in third, untroubled at the moment. Here comes Everts, 
Now, where is Bivolts? There he is. Do we have a tussle on here between those two? Tractor on the Chesterfield Suzuki, number 71. A former world champion. Kurt Nickel, number five on the HRC Honda. Very much out on his own. There is Everts. Where is Bevorts? And the answer is there, is Bevorts. Right on his tail, giving it everything he's got. There's Tractor. Top three going through, but the action is most definitely on at the front. Nickel back in fourth. Big gap between himself and Pedro Tractor. Behind Nickel. Into camera view they should come, and there he is. It is number 12, Robbie Herring. Herring going through then. Then it's Jorgensen. Then Danny Thabers on the Belga Com sponsor machine. Badem and A chasing, and there's Byron 90. So, oh, look at this. He's done it. Bev Orts has got in front of Stefan Everts. Is this not going to be a back to back win for the Belgian rider? Can Bevort stay out there in front to make amends for the problems that he had in Ireland? Tractor, still third, untroubled by anyone at the moment. Those two are going at it, and look at Stefan, he's coming back. Everts refuses to lay down. Look at the crowd, they really are getting behind these two. It's a question now of which one do they want to win? Everts trying the inside line, Bevort's on the outside line. Look at that wonderful stuff this is. You can hear the horns honking as they come through. It's still Bavortz and Everts, neck and neck. Johnson Suzuki against JHK Kawasaki. They fly high over the hills. It's still the Bavortz. Everts is just waiting his time, I think. The air horns being emptied, the crowd cheering on the question. I don't know which one they're cheering most for. Look at Everts. He's trying him on the inside. Is he going to get him in the woods? Is Everts got him in the woods? And the answer is yes. They're still cheering for Bavortz. But Everts goes back into the lead, Monique. Bavortz drops back to second. Is this going to be a back to back for Stefan or can Bavortz come back? Pedro Tractor must be wondering what all the fuss is about. He's comfortably in third with no troubles at all. Here comes Everts to complete another lap. Urged on by his pit board men, Bavort tries again to come back at Everts. But I think Stefan has decided he wants a gap. He wants to win. Tractor, 71, untroubled at the moment. Here comes Stefan Everts to take the chequered flag. This is a back-to-back -back second one of the season for Everts. 40 points, takes him back into the lead in the championship. Bevort comes home in second. He can't be too unhappy with that result. Well, Bevort's here, clearly very tired from the effort that he put in in race two. And Kurt Nickel very disappointed, finishing almost a minute behind the, uh, the first two in the race. Stefan Everts then, to the applause of the crowds, takes the trophies. Stefan shows off the trophy to his adoring Belgium crowd here and they can't be too unhappy with that result. Two heat wins, the overall winner. We spoke to Everts. Stefan, right into day superbly. It's what you had planned? Yeah, you know, I didn't plan uh, not so much, you know. I just came to this race and uh, just tried to do the best of it and uh, I win uh, two heats and it's a very good day for me. But the last three or four weeks, it's been improving all the time. We have now 10 rounds gone, and you look better than ever. Yeah, you know, uh, every GP, you know, I'm feeling stronger and stronger. Uh, in Sweden, it, it started to go much better. Uh, excuse me, in Finland. Uh, fin then we had Sweden. I won that GP. England was a good race. And then last weekend in Ireland was not that good. 
as I expected. Uh, I did the eighth and uh, third, but uh, anyway, I was satisfied with that. But now you have a large points lead, taking it to Venezuela. You must be feeling very confident now this year. Yeah, I'm feeling very uh, confident, and uh, in a few weeks we have Venezuela. I think it's a good track for me. It's very warm, and in this moment my physical shape is very, uh, very good. Today it was pretty warm, so uh, yeah, it's looking good.